from Americana to Zydeco, and everything in between. This is the Extended Play Sessions. In the garden, there grew something wicked. There was something wicked. All in the sense was lost. In the garden, there was something wicked. There lived something wicked. A line it was crossed, so turn away from this sinful garden. Turn away from this sinful pride. In the soul of the garden, there lives something wicked. If you see something wicked, don't look at it I've been on the road my whole life. I've been traveling. I've been doing gigs. Things like this in, in 2014 are a blessing to have people who are interested, who care, who, who want to hear you. Um, they're, they're, they're really interested. That's what makes music happen. Music is not on your computer. It's not on your cell phone. It's about a communal experience it's an interactive experience and this is a way that you're using you know communication to get people here who really want to hear what we're doing i mean that's that's the that's the ultimate goal of music and the arts right to connect with the audience um and i like the funky vibe and uh y'all got some nice cold beers so it's, you know so, so i mean what else does a, a southern boy want <laughs> Ain't got no frog legs or mud bugs, you know. And then I'd re really get deep with you. But look, I mean, there was no way I would be here in this area if it weren't for your venue and and hosting us here, letting us be a part of this. I wouldn't even be able to be here, you know. I'd I'd be staying down south, and hopefully, it means something for us to be here and, and doing our music. <laughs> jump in the Tallahatchie I think I'll crawl down to a bank I'm gonna slow walk to Tallahatchie can't see me no more newspaper said I sang Come on, boy. I wanna ride the city of New Orleans Gonna crawl through these old swamps if I have to. You will never see me docking your door again. I grew up, up, up on the Tallahatchie. You know that money river water it run right past my town. I'm gonna slow walk the Tallahatchie. On the shifting sand, I might slip in and drown. Flag a ride on the Cayley. Can't see me no more. Newspaper said I sang. I 
like I'll jump in the Tallahatchie. I think I'll crawl down to her banks. I'm going to slow walk the Tallahatchie. Can't see me no more. Newspaper said I sang. Can't see me no more. Newspaper said I sang. Even today, in, in, in 2014, it is is crazy as times are now there's still a cultural community of music in the deep south people love it they want to see it they want to be a part of it they know the songs uh, uh my home state supports me in an incredible way you know uh mississippi does um what makes it happen it's a clash between the races man it's a cr it's a clash between you have to look at to, to answer that question you have to look at history you know, you have to look at, 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 at deep history in America to answer the question of why that music is so profound. But it's basically a clash of, of interests. And um, the blues music particularly is a black man and woman's music. You know, they were brought there and they were shackled down and, and brought to Mississippi. They made blues. They made rock and roll. You look at the Rolling Stones. That's named after Muddy Waters you know, from Senegal. His, his people were shipped over from Senegal not a hundred years prior. So <laughs> the roots of Mississippi music, you look at Stephen Foster, you talk about uh, squirrel nut zippers, you look at the roots of Mississippi music, it's an interaction between the races, between the white man and woman, the black man and woman. Stephen Foster, his Camp Town races, that's about uh, 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 the Perlu area of a horse track up in Virginia where they had prostitutes. It's a red light district. The Camp Town ladies sing this song. You know, look at your roots if you want to dig deep in Mississippi, in, uh, in American music. But um, Mississippi in particular, it was just the hotbed. You know, something in the, in the soil, something in the, in the turmoil of the history of that area um, made it happen. And it's... Uh, it's hard to explain, and, and I can't explain it in five minutes, but I don't think anyone can. <laughs>
step into the light. Come to Jesus in the strobe light. Dirty hustling. Dirty hustling. That's the thing. Dirty hustling. Dirty hustling. Chalk it up to the game. Dirty hustling. Dirty hustling. That's the thing. I'll get up to the game. Everybody want to hear Roscoe? Put your hands together. In the street all night, a dirty hustling. Let you in, I let you in on my thing. I turn you loose, babe, put you back in the game. I'm back in the thing, a dirty, a dirty hustling. That's a thing. A woo, dirty hustling, dirty hustling. Talking up to the game. It's just me pursuing the roots of American music, you know, and, and, and in my pursuit, I, I traveled up to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and um, I met like-minded people who were digging into the roots of, of American music, and uh, Chapel Hill was a, a great creative space for me at that time. In about 89, they had groups like Southern Culture on the Skids, Dexter Rom Weber, uh, Flat Duo Jets, um, uh, Red Clay Ramblers, uh, Chicken Wire Gang, groups that were doing, like where I was from in Mississippi in, at that time, you had to be a cover band, right? You had to play ACDC, which is fucking cool, uh, you know, or you had to play uh, Billy Idol or whatever the world was going on. In Chapel Hill, you couldn't play covers. You had to be an original band. And so I found this through my own travels, you know, and, and I just, I, I saw these other guys doing what I wanted to be doing, which is putting a twist on the American music thing, you know, and the Deep Roots thing. Um, and so I dug in there 
It was a literary place. There were access to a lot of information about theater, music, arts of all kinds, you know. Uh, and uh, that's how I put the squirrel nut zippers together with the costuming, the stage, everything. You know, we had our own lights. We brought Chinese lanterns. You know, we'd go to the the little Chinese stores and and and, and make our own light show, which was just nothing. Just turn all that off, and we had Chinese lanterns. You know, we're all sitting down in tuxedos that have mold on them, you know, that we got at the thrift shop. And it was just, it was really taking American music back to the, to the roots, to the very, the very core of what it is. And that's orchestras, vaudeville, jazz, um, mixed with blues. And uh, a lot of the things that, that I added to the zippers, the diminished chords, I learned from Robert Johnson, you know, from my studies with him, just putting together the blues. That's all combined. Um, and so at that point, that's what we did. time I'm not worried anymore from the minute I saw you walk through the door I turned to myself I first laid eyes on you girl you shine like a diamond and you're my girl you shine like a diamond and you're flawless like a pearl I was alone one time So messed up in my mind Where to go and no place to hide I said to myself I've turned away from that world You shine like a diamond And you flawless like a pearl Shine like a diamond And you're my girl Tri-State Coalition is a lifelong goal and project of mine. Everybody in the band is hand-picked, it's hand-tested. Uh, Their metal is tested on the road in the studio, and their dedication is, is uh, amazing. Some of the people have been in the band seven years. My brother-in-law is Matt Pierce, and uh, so we're family, you know, and... Uh, Everybody in here has really given a lot to make the sound that you hear on the tape tonight. <laughs> Roscoe's another one who's just thrown his weight behind us. He's been a supporter. Uh, Matt, you know, and he hooked up on the interwebs, you know, and kind of put us together for the White Buffalo. Um, 
We really fought hard to get Roscoe around, and I think he's kind of addicted to it. He needs a vaccination so he can be immune from us. Uh, but uh, he just, man, I've learned so much uh, just since the White Buffalo, working with him, learning about rock and roll, guitar, how songs go together. Uh, a lot of what you hear tonight are his concoctions, you know, and uh, his 10 cents worth. Um, means a lot to me as a lifelong person who pursues music, pursues a band. You know, I don't want to be the person out there by myself. I want people working with me that are adding to it and contributing to it. I grew up in a very social music scene, and uh, I, I, I need that for my group, you know, and, and, and that's what the Tri-State Coalition is. Some bad boys, you know, they're getting a little long in the tooth, but, you know, especially me. But... We've got some skills that are hard to come by these days, and, and, and I think the audience will, will, will testify to that tonight. I had a little woman, she put a fake hex on me. I think I think we're close, you know. I really do. I feel like we're doing a little something, and the songs the, um, are reaching some people. So that's all I can hope for is to get paid, you know, get the boys paid, and just put a fuck. It's it, it's like it's like a caravan of mayhem on the road that we're trying to, you know. It's like the old Barnum and Bailey thing, you know. You know, it's just.
I don't mean to come across in my interviews and my speech as not wanting to leave or go anywhere. That's why I'm here tonight, <laughs> you know. But I do, I, I prescribe to the Faulkner thing is understand where you're from, know where you're from, and then you can spread a, a bigger message to other people, you know. And uh, uh, th that's, that's all I know, you know. Uh, uh, it's like the it's like the alchemist, you know. You study the microcosm and you understand the macrocosm. It's same as the what physics is now. You understand your area, then you understand everyone, you know. And it's a universal thing. Um, I try to use music to communicate with people, man, you know. And I try to break down, especially now in this computer age, this texting age, this all everything that's going on. I still think the human thing is 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 the real thing, and and that's what I'm trying to put out here, um, spread around. Hopefully, I'll find an audience for my songs. You know, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. <laughs>